Hi everyone. So this is going to be a tutorial to basically augment uh, the drivable vehicle in Unity tutorial and this is going to teach you how to basically create a little simple script in your scene to allow you to switch between cameras like a, uh, a hood cam or a drive driver cam or just a follow behind the vehicle camera. In our scene right now we have like a hood cam just I've put it there randomly and then we have our follow behind the car cam um, this camera can be you know put anywhere you want we don't actually have an interior to this vehicle so that's kind of why it's a hood cam but it can be placed anywhere you want um, our main camera that follows behind or any ones that you want to follow behind or outside of the vehicle you're going to want to use this smooth follow right here uh, JavaScript um, script to basically establish it following the vehicle um, and that's provided by Unity in the asset package for free. So we don't have to sweat that or go over that. And then we have our driver's camera with what we're looking through right now. And that's basically going to be kind of inside of the car. And we don't need to attach a follow script for that. We actually can go right inside of our car, you know, the chassis or wherever we want it. And we're going to drag the driver's camera inside there. And this is basically so you can see my little camera there on top of the vehicle. Um, when I drive it around in the scene, that camera is going to follow with the vehicle now. So it's because it's part of the vehicle's hierarchy. So, And you can do all kinds of little local bumping animations and all that, and it will play the animation you know, and follow the vehicle at the same time. So you don't have to worry about that. The animations would hap happen locally, and your camera is basically parented into the hierarchy globally. So don't sweat that. Now we need to figure out how to build a switch. Uh, between these using any set of keys we want to do on the keyboard. Um, so basically we're going to make a script for that, but the first thing we're going to do is actually create the object in the scene. We're going to go game object, create empty. I'm going to go up here to the little gear and just reset position so everything's zeroed out. Just keep, that, keep it neat. You don't really have to do that. I'm going to call this camera switcher, and this is just going to be the little guy that is going to hold our script in the scene, just an object that's going to you know, allow that script to execute in the scene. So I have a little scripts folder here. Um, it can be wherever you want to put yours that you can find it again in the hierarchy. I'm going to go create JavaScript and I will call this cam switcher. The name's not really important with this. I'm going to click this little edit button up here and edit this JavaScript. And I'm going to delete this. And basically, we're going to go in here and start writing this script. So we're going to do a couple of forward slashes, and we're going to write script for switching between cameras in your scene. And that's basically, uh, you know, putting in there instructions when you come back to the script, so you know what the script um, does. And we'll hit Control S and save that as we go. So basically what we're going to need now is we're going to need two variables, two public variables so we can see them exposed in the inspector as, as literal like um, slots in the inspector here where you have these slots where you can adjust height and distance on the camera and all. Those are public variable slots. So we need to create a couple of those. Basically one to hold our uh, outside camera and one to hold our inside uh, you know, driver camera. So we're going to go public var var and we'll call the one behind it rear cam and we're going to do that and we're going to call it type of camera let it know it that it's, it's a camera and we want a second one which is going to be our inside cam so we'll call that public bar and we'll call it driver camera and it is also going to be a type of camera so there I'm going to hit control s and save it we're going to go back to our camera switcher object here. We have our cam switcher strip script right here. We'll just drag it onto it, and we will see our two. Um, oh, we'll see our two slots exposed now. One for the rear cam behind the car, and one for the driver cam. So our rear cam here is actually main camera. So we're going to go drag main camera over into that slot. Now our rear camera is set. I'm going to go in and find our driver camera. And we'll drag that over there. So now our camera switcher has access to those two cameras. Now we just need to tell it to do something with those two cameras if you press a certain key or whatever. 
So we're going to go in here and we want um, to check every single frame of this game if a key's been pressed. So basically there's no delay, you know, if you press the one key or the, the two key, um, there's not going to be any delay on this. You know what I'm saying? It's going to check every single frame. So we're going to use the function update for that. And um, we're going to comment. That's what the green stuff is when you do the two forward slashes. It's called commenting your scripts. And basically this lets you know um, when you come back to it what lines of the code do what. And they help you understand what you were doing before. So for this first one, let's go down. Before we write the comment, we're going to write our basically our conditions here. So we're going to say, well, if input on the keyboard, and we're going to say get key and then key code and we're going to say f1 as can be any kind of key on the keyboard that you want I just picked the f1 key for one camera and f2 for the other but it could literally be like space it could be key coded to the space bar on the keyboard um, you'll want to google key code unity and look up the script reference for key codes in unity and basically they're just Unity's immediate knowledge of a key on the keyboard, hardware mapped, I mean directly. So basically you tell it what key in there. Um, so we're going to put F1. And that's basically saying, all right, right now if someone's pressed the key on the keyboard, F1, what do we want to do? So we want to say, all right, for our first condition, we'll say rear camera, or rear cam, I'm sorry, up there. And type of camera, it is a camera, and we want to say it's enabled. So we'll say enabled true. So when you hit that F1 key on the keyboard here, that key code, um, the rear camera, the camera behind the car, will be enabled. So we want to also tell it, all right, well, if you if you hit this key, um, we want to make sure um, driver camera, type of camera, enabled is false. It's not true. It's off. It basically turns it off in Unity with this little, these little check boxes here. It basically turns it completely off when it says enabled false. Okay, so we'll close out this. There's a little bracket there. And then the next one will say, we have another set of if conditions for if the driver's camera is going to be turned on. So we're going to say if um, input dot get key and in this one we will say key code dot f2 the f2 key we'll go down to our little bracket and then we will say rear cam and it's a type of camera dot enabled and this one's going to turn that um, behind cam off. And I found a typo I did up here earlier, which will really screw up your scripts. Enable. And then we'll go up here. And actually, to save time, we'll copy that, paste it down here. And we want to say on this condition, if you hit the F2 key, our inside cam or driver's cam is true. Pretty interesting, right? And then we want to close this out with the double brackets. And we want to hit Control S and save it. So basically, it's pretty simple here. We have our two variable slots, one for the camera behind the car, one for the inside driver cam. And when we're in the update function, which is running every single frame, run, 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 run repetitively, it's checking to see have I hit the key F1 or the key F2. If I've hit the key F1, it's saying, hey, that camera behind the car is enabled, so it's on. We can see through it. And we'll say at the same time that driver camera inside is not enabled. It's enabled false, so it's off. We're not seeing through it. And it's also saying, well, also if if we hit the uh, F2 key, that camera behind the car is off and driver camera is enabled inside the car. So we had our commenting I had started up here. So basically we want to say kind of what we uh, I just said right now. So I put something like if we hit the F1 key, this turns on the camera behind the car turns off inside cam and basically we comment these so we know later and this one would say if we hit the F2 key 
this turns on the interior camera and disables exterior camera. So we've commented that pretty good and we know what's going on with those parts of the script so I'm actually going to close this out. I'm going to come back in here and just double check our camera switcher thing. They're applied. So now it should work when I hit play. Let me go in here. When we drive around, if I hit F1, we go to exterior camera. If I hit F2, we go to our you know, interior camera or what would be your inside your dash camera. And so that allows you to switch back and forth. Um, also, you notice that we start, um, let's go back to this. Notice that we start with it on the interior cam. Personal preference, you can write this into the script here. Right after our variables, variables before we get into the update, we want to do another one of Unity's functions called function start. And basically in that, we'll take these two, copy them, and paste them in. And in this spot, we'll put our closing bracket, hit save. Basically, function start, delete some of these extra spaces. Function start is what happens at the very beginning of the scene start. It happens before the every frame update. So basically, this is going to establish when our scene very first starts, what's going to happen when it starts. So in here, we can tell it, rear camera, driver's cam, which one we want enabled or which one we want disabled. So if we're starting now on our you know, interior driver cam, according to this function start here, this will actually start us with rear camera the camera outside of the car set to visible and the one inside set to false. So well, actually when we hit start now, if I saved it, I don't think I saved it. So we saved it. I'm going to hit play and um, we'll start with the camera in, in the um, exterior. So every time you start your scene, that delay you see here now from, uh, and actually here I'll show you something cool, we'll actually completely disable driver's camera so in the editor you can see it starting from exterior. We'll hit play and you notice that we start at the exterior. The player will only see that when the scene starts. They won't see this delayed loading in the editor stuff. So basically that I hope that got everybody um, going on this. You know the ability to switch cameras and scene. This works on other things other than cars too. Um, there's a link to the script up in the uh, video description. So you guys have access to this and don't even have to, uh, you know, type this all out and take the time to do that. But at least here we'll show you uh, how to set it up in the Unity scene and all that. So I hope this helps some people. And uh, oh, good day.